Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will take a look at the June 1st security patch when it comes down to the Galaxy S24 series. I also saw that the Galaxy S23 got its update. So now I've already covered the Galaxy S25 June 1st update. We took a look at the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Flip 6 June 1st update. And now we finally have it for the S24 as well as the S23 and I believe a few more additional devices as well. Now I just did this update right before I started shooting I meant to hit the download button, but I hit install, but don't worry, at least I wrote down a few of the versions for applications and services, just so we can see what is brand new when it comes down to this update. Now, as the Galaxy S24 series does its update, let's take a look at the Samsung mobile security page. This is everything on the back end of things. This is really the meat and potatoes, probably of this update. Now, I've covered a lot of what was happening with the June security patch already, but because everybody watches specifically about their device uh, when it comes down to videos, might as well cover it really quick. There is nothing from the Google side of things that is critical, but when it comes down to everything that is high, there is 36 high. Now again, these are the vulnerabilities and exposures that are being fixed with this update, but there are five of them that are not applicable to Samsung Galaxy devices. Now for the Samsung side of things down over here, this is where it gets very important. So for the Samsung Semiconductor, there is patches for 10 and they're underneath the, the category of high. Now, normally there's only one or two updates for the Samsung Semiconductor sitting here, but there is 10 this time. And out of everything, there is 19 Samsung vulnerabilities and exposures that has been targeted and fixed. So out of this 19 vulnerabilities and exposures, 10 of them are for semiconductors. Now, the rest up over here, this is just letting us know the other nine, which is something dealing with the audio service, a few things with Samsung Cloud with the Galaxy Watch, the theme manager, uh, screen capture for Galaxy Watch, fingerprint, another fingerprint, and another fingerprint, and then one for Bluetooth. So when you're taking a look at everything, it kind of seems like a lot of stuff being fixed for semiconductors, Bluetooth, fingerprint, and the watch. So again, a lot of very important stuff happening with this update here on the behind the scenes. Now we'll take a look at a few Samsung applications and services. So with that out of the way, the other place you want to take a look at is your Samsung Galaxy Store. Sometimes they place brand new updates to applications and services right inside of here. You want to go to your updates. Now, I don't see anything with this update here, but if you haven't taken a look at your Samsung Galaxy Store within the last 7 to 14 days, which means the last week or two weeks, you might find a lot of stuff listed in here, probably all the way up to 15 to 20 different applications. Now, if you have everything turned on for auto update, then you might not see anything. But for me, who has that as manual, nothing has shown up after this update. Another thing I want to take a look at is the Google Play system updates. Right now we are on April 1st and I'm going to see if there is a newer version for it. So I'm going to go through and hit on restart. Now tapping it and restarting the phone, it didn't put me into May or June, but it does still have us in April 1st for that security patch for the Google Play system update. Now when it comes down to the Google Play system update, they sometimes do updates every single week or every two weeks. So that just means that there was one or two that I was missing during the month of April. So it got, a, got, you know, got us caught up a little bit, but it did not put us into May or June. Now let's take a look at a few applications and services. Now when it comes down to me taking a look at the Galaxy Z Fold 6, I didn't find anything new, but maybe we can find something here with the S24 series. Now before the update, it was 16.0.0.7.3, 16.0.0.7.3, so no new version there. Now we'll take a look at Samsung camera. And when it comes down to the camera, before the update it was 15.0.0.2.3.6, and it looks like right there, the exact same version, 15.0.0.2.3.6. Now we'll take a look at the gallery before the update. This one was sitting at 15.6.0.1.18. This one is 15.6.0.1.18, so no new version there. Now we'll take a look at secure folder. Uh, this one before the update was sitting at 1.9.40.11. This is 1.9.40.11, so no new version there for the secure folder. And then the very last thing we'll take a look at is the lock screen and always on display. So with this one here, before the update was at 8.842.4, and it's the exact same version here. So for the month of June, 
on the on the forefront of your phone, what you look at, I didn't find anything new at all for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 or Flip 6. Didn't find anything new here for the Galaxy S24 series. Everything has been updated on the back end. Again, a very important update when it comes down to the security of the device, which is the only thing they listed for this update was security. And a lot of that was not only from the side of Google, but also 10 patches for Samsung semiconductors. Again, normally it's only one or two. So that is where the whole meat and potatoes and the important portion of this video is. I still always try to look for new versions and updates. My OCD wouldn't allow me to not shoot this video. So we went through, I wasn't able to find anything on the forefront of this device or applications, but hopefully you guys have still appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.